The second video we're doing today is the other question that you guys keep asking. You keep asking about my resources. How do I manage my resources? How do I get so many resources, especially as a free-to-play player? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how I do that in today's video. Hey guys, Pokemountain here, bringing you another Learning Corner video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Learning Corner. Uh, we did do a, a video earlier on today regarding money and where to spend money and that sort of thing. And at the end of this video, there will be a link to that video at the top. But uh, this video is going to cover the other question you guys keep asking. How do I get so many resources as a free-to-play player? Well, it's actually kind of simple and at the same time kind of not. So... Let's, let's go have a look. The first thing to that I want to show you guys is that there's my stronghold over here, okay? My level 30 stronghold. How do I get all my resources? Well, one of the biggest ways, simply put, is that I have got all these farms that are doing the work for me as well as my primary account. So here you can actually see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight farms up there. I got eight farms and I got my primary account. Now I'm not going to go into detail about the farms themselves. That's going to be another video where I discuss specifically how to farm, how to manage farms, how it works, what you should be looking at, how, uh, what type of farm do you want, etc. So that'll be in a future video that is coming up. It is part of the current list of videos we're doing. But today we're just going to be literally discussing the resources and resource management. So the first thing, and this is quite possibly the biggest thing to your resources, is that you got to be treating your farms almost as well as you treat your main account, especially when it comes to things like the shop events. These shop events, the main item that you get from them is varies from shop to shop. In this particular case, it's party blowers, okay? And those party blowers are going to allow you to purchase bigger items. But on the farms, more importantly, you can get the smaller items just by farming, by doing gathering, by killing monsters and doing barbarian rallies. And these are going to become very important for you inside your farms, especially at these four points here. I can purchase 50,000 wood 300 times or 10,000 iron 300 times or 50,000 wood 300 times, or 2,500 silver 300 times. Now, during the shop event, I will be able to have enough energy or enough of these items built up that I'm going to be able to claim all four of these. So let's just claim the first one quickly and show you. So we're going to claim there, 1, 000, we claim 300 of the 50,000 food. Okay. Now, if we go here to resources, this is one of my farms. So I can just, just to show you quickly. Um, actually, no, I don't want to go here. I want to go to here. I just want to show you exactly what that means. So if I go to food here, and where's my 50,000? There it is. And I say I want to use 150 of these, uh, 300 of these, which is what I just got. That's 15 million food I just got for free on this account. Now, if you take into consideration the fact that I have nine farms and I have my main account, or sorry, I have eight farms and I have my main account, that is almost 150 million food, 150 million wood. It's a lot to get for free. Now, each of these farms, they have their purpose, which is going to be to collect resources for me and things like that. They are in a separate alliance to what my main account is. If it was in the same alliance, I could even do things like get my gold summoning horns sent 15 every day from my farms to my main account, and I can build that up there as well. So the farms are doing their job and uh, primarily getting me my resources. What do I do with that afterwards? 
once I've got my farms active and running, I actually personally, now you don't have to do this, obviously, this is how I personally like to do it. And as you guys know, by now, I love my Excel documents. What I've got here is I've got a spreadsheet that I've created that allows me to maintain, manage, and monitor how much resources I have at any given time between my main account and all my farms. So these two columns, for example, is my main account. This is one of the farms, another farm. This is another farm. This is, oh, let me just fix that. This is another farm and so on. So I've got space here for my main account and all eight farms. And I've got the different levels of food. I've got the different levels of wood, the different levels of iron, and the different levels of silver. Now, I've created a document that it auto-calculates, basically. But what I do is I go here where there's food is 100K. And let's say, for example, I am in... Well, let's have a quick look. Which farm am I in at the moment? Okay, I'm in Pokey Mountain 2, which is Farm Talk. I call it Farm Talk. So if I go here to Farm Talk what I would do is I would now go through it and I do this about once a week for all my farms. I go through the farm and I go right starting here. I had 4,872 of the 1k food items. How many have I got now? And I will update it. And as I'm updating it here, it will automatically calculate how much food that farm has and it will automatically calculate a total of how much all my farms and my main account have together. Once I've got these totals, as I say, I do it about once a week. I update this once a week. And I update this also if a shop event happens or any event happens like the Dragon Chest event, for example, where you can get resources. I will update this just before the event and I'll update this again just after the event or even during the event, depending on what's happening. But once I've got this sheet, personally, what I like to do is I like to make a list of all the things that I want to be doing. In this particular case here, I've got my research that I want to be concentrating on, which is going to be on the war fury side of things. And I want to get my undying oath, as many of those as I possibly can. I want to get my hospital capacity. I want to get my embassy up. I want to get my legion up and I want to get my march capacity up. So now I will put in all the information here of what I'm looking for, which will then give me my totals and it will give me, I've got my reductions put in, so it'll give me my totals, my reduction and my reduced totals. And I can now compare and I can say, right, I need, uh, for example, I need 3000 Philosopher's Stones. Do I have 3000 Stones? No, I've only got 888, okay? So I'll come back here and I'll go, right, 888 will give me these first four levels. Perfect. So now if I delete this row over here, for example, I see, okay, so now I've deleted that row. I need 22 million food, 242 million wood, okay? That's, that's a lot of resources, but I have got enough for both of those, okay? Then I need 15 million iron, and I need 5 million silver, all right? Let's go have a look. 15 million iron, 5 million silver, I've got enough. So I now know, perfect. I have enough to do all four of those and I will still have something left over. I will still have so many whatever food or, or, or philosopher's stones, whatever the case might be. In this case, I'm going to have 63 stones left over, philosopher's stones, not counting whatever I get from barbarian rallies and that before research day happens, which should hopefully be tomorrow. So I've still got another 63 stones left. What else can I do for 63 stones? Unfortunately, nothing but if I can get three more stones, I can do myself this uh, embassy upgrade. Perfect. If I get even more than that, I can do hospital capacity. Great. Do I maybe want to reduce down this uh, Undying Oath 1 and then get myself more March capacity, more uh, Legion, whatever the case might be, and I will play with it accordingly. So I create these documents for myself for what I need to do, what I want to do in the game, whether it's building upgrades, whether it's research and things like that. And I can then compare that to my resources that I currently avail have available according to my uh, according to my farms and what is available in my farms right now. Now, again, this is me. This is just how I like to do it. Doesn't mean you have to do it that way. But if this is something that you do like and you would like to have, um, it's a lot of work to create these documents and to get it all set up and everything. But this particular page here that I'm talking about where, I'm, where I put, input all my resources 
is part of the document that I'm creating for you guys. It is there if you want to utilize it, and I'm going to show you what that looks like now. Okay, so this is the document I'm busy working on at the moment, which is going to replace the uh, the troop document that I have currently online, but it is a work in progress. Um, but this is going to give you a lot more to it. And for example, if I came here and I selected which tier I have, it will automatically hopefully work out everything else for you. Or So you put in your March capacity, you put in all your statistics here, and you select which is your highest level of uh, tier of troops, and it will automatically work out golem marches, PvP marches, and all that sort of thing for you. Um, it's still a work in progress, so it's going to be a while before this is ready. I might have part of it up, or I might have the document uploaded soon, where I say to you, right, this is the document, but I'm still busy on everything, but this page is working. And then I'll update you guys and say this page is working. But here, resources available. All you got to do is populate this if you want to use it for the number of farms that you've got, including your main account. And I've put here, adjust the left behind amounts, which is these lines here. You'll notice by food, there's one. By wood, there's one. By iron and silver, there's one as well. Adjust the left behind amounts at each section and each farm according to your own personal farm accounts. Amounts. This is the amount that you cannot get from the farm when attacking it. So when you attack the farm, you attack it 10 times, 20 times, whatever the case might be, there's always some left over that you can't really get to unless you're willing to do a million attacks, for example. That amount, you need to put it here in the left behind section. I've, in mine, I've put 550, 550, 550 for the food. I've put 550 for the wood, 150 for the iron, and 30 for the silver, just as an example. But you're going to adjust these amounts to whatever yours is, and then the document will work out the rest for you. For example, if I go here and I say my main account has 500 of the 1K food, it will automatically tally that all up for you. If you don't put anything in, you'll notice there are negatives here. That's because it's taking into account the left behinds. So if, for example, you only have four farms, you're going to actually delete all of these columns here, or you're going to delete the amounts the the amounts inside the other ones just so that it doesn't impact your document from there um, I've also got a page with the first one I've done so far is the research so the cost of every single thing to do with research is here um, this is your RSS available page uh, that's just a, a page that will be hidden in the end this will automatically calculate an import according to what you put in over here um, this is the new what the golem page is going to look like at the end It's going to show you what in what tiers of infantry and everything you need What are their attacks their boosted attacks attack total boosted attack total their total attack their total boosted attack all that sort of thing will be worked out for you automatically Right, so that's that's just just as a by the by just to show you what that is but otherwise guys that is literally how I maintain and monitor and look after my resources and make sure how much I've got, how much I can utilize and what I can do with all my resources. Um, yep, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. Uh, there will be a video coming up down the line explaining farming in detail for you. So look out for that if you want to be notified when these videos go up or like that farming one's going to go up. Please hit the subscribe and bell notification icon. And if you like this video or, any, or if you have any comments regarding this video, please hit the like button and comment down below. And I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Until the next video, guys, be good, be well, and be safe. Bye.